Hey guys, Josh here. Uh, I'm doing a voiceover for this video. It's a little loud in my house, so it may not match up with uh, the pointing and things. But here we have the uh, Dungeons and Dragons Stranger Things starter set. Uh, the box is pretty cool. It wasn't supposed to come out until around May, uh, but I found it at a local GameStop and picked it up. However, when I did get home, uh, I got a shipment notification from Amazon, so it looks like they're shipping them a little early. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the second copy. Uh, I had planned to get home and cancel my pre-order, but it just worked out that... I picked it up at GameStop, come home, and it was shipped. But anyway, uh, yeah, there's the box. Um, it's remnant of the old red box uh, Dungeons & Dragons starter set that we had seen much later in the past. Uh, but let's open this up and see what we got. Uh, the box is about the same size as the starter set that we uh, currently have with the Mind of Fendelver adventure. I'm anxious to see how this pulls in new players i think it's going to be really good for that uh, actually i think it's going to be better than the current starter set because it has uh you know stranger th uh, things sit the theme the box there is uh, made to look old uh kind of like from the 80s uh, just a traditional look to it pretty cool it's really glossy having a little hard time getting that open there it looks like Okay, and when you open it up, you see a bag of dice, same ones with a starter set, two Demogorgon figures, one painted, one unpainted, and you can kind of see the artwork coming through there for the middle. All right, uh, like I said, the dice uh, seem to be the same one that came with the uh, original 5th edition starter set uh, with the Minds of Fendelver campaign, or adventure, rather. Pretty nice dice, I mean, necessary to play the game, and... Uh, They'll get you rolling. So if you've never played Dungeons & Dragons, you're interested in the game, or you're just a big fan of Stranger Things, and get this. Uh, that's everything that you need to run the adventure that Mike Wheeler made for his friends in Stranger Things. Pretty cool. All right, looks like moving on here, uh, we're going to get the, uh, the miniatures out. Uh, there is the unpainted Demogorgon miniature. Uh, the details are okay. Um, the... There was another unboxing on uh, YouTube. Yeah, it actually says Netflix on the bottom. But there was another unboxing on YouTube that had talked about the quality of the plastic. It is a bit bendy. It's it's not what we're used to seeing with uh, some of the other miniatures that we were getting from WizKids or the old Hasbro miniatures. Uh, the painted one, the only difference really is the red in the mouth and the shade of the skin tone. Uh, there's no real dry brushing or anything like that to... Uh, Bring out the details, but it's not bad. It's certainly not bad. It, it would serve its purpose for this adventure and just to put in your uh, miniature collection uh, as two cool miniatures. I mean, the the whole box is only twenty four ninety nine, so you can't complain. You're basically paying for the the one shot adventure. The basic rules, if you've never played before, a set of dice and two miniatures. Uh, the Mind of Fendelver campaign or Mind of Fendelver box didn't even come with miniatures, so this is an improvement. Okay, going on into the box here, we have the starter set rule book. Uh, it's one thing I wanted to mention. I didn't show here. Uh, it's not just staple binding. It is. It's got you know. It's got the um, rope binding. I like that the chapters for the rules have actually pictures from the characters from Stranger Things. Uh, I was already a fan of Dungeons and Dragons. Already play and have books and miniatures and everything. But I'm also a fan of the show, so when this was announced, I had to get it. And it's cool that they add all the flavor, even to the rule book. Uh, yeah, just your basic rules. This book, uh, it would have everything you need to learn to play the game. And dive right into um, Mike's adventure here. Yeah, there's some stat blocks for uh, monsters in the end of the rule book there. Coming through, I think, uh, yeah, 43 pages is what you get in that book, 43 pages. Everything you need to know to learn to play Dungeons & Dragons tabletop role-playing game. Pretty cool. They have. Uh, they say it's for three-plus players. You could probably get by playing with two. I've did it before, just a DM and one adventurer uh, in a pinch. However, this adventure particularly is probably tuned for uh, two adventurers plus. Okay, moving on, we have the uh, pre-made character sheets it looks like we have a heel dwarf bard level three um these are all filled out and ready to go after you're reading the rules you'll understand how to play and what to do with them and what each thing means 
Uh, they also left the player name and the character name blank, so you can go with their little explanation on the back. Next, we have a Wood Elf Cleric, also level 3. Same situation here with leaving everything black, blank rather on the character name and the player name. Uh, we have a Human Paladin, level 3. And I should also mention, these are printed uh, double-sided, as you saw there at the first one. And they're extremely quality paper. I think uh, they're... They're made to use over and over, uh, obviously, with this set or running, if you're a DM, running multiple groups through this uh, short adventure. Okay, but there's the uh, character sheets that come with it. So, so far you have dice, the character sheets, the rule book, and now the main event, you have the um, the Hunt for the Thessal Hydra, the adventure book, uh, written by Mike Willer. Very clever. This book is also... Uh, not binded by staples. It's also binded by uh, really well by the rope binding. Um, I like how they made this look like Mike Wheeler actually did this. It's written on loose leaf paper, it looks like. There's a, a drawing of Will the Wise, which if you watch Stranger Things and you're a fan of Stranger Things, you've you've heard, you know the character Will, and you know, uh, heard him say Will the Wise a lot. But yeah, everything's written on loose leaf. And when I was flipping through this, I wasn't sure how to do it because I didn't want to spoil anything or have someone just pause the video and have the entire adventure. It's a really short adventure. It seems simple. It seems kind of watered down, which is, in my opinion, really good thing for a starter set. The Minds of Fendelver is an incredible adventure. It's a great adventure. I encourage anyone to try to run it or uh, if you're a player to have someone run it for you and you play through it. But it can get a little bit complicated for someone that's never been introduced to the role-playing game, tabletop role-playing game hobby, I haven't ran this yet. I just got this, and I've flipped through it, you know, just browse through it. But I think it's going to be very, very awesome to run. Uh, very simple things, very simple results at just a roll of a D20. Plenty of situations where the players can branch out and role-play a little bit. Or if they just want a railroaded adventure and just go straight forward and do the obvious, it's fine for that, too. But yeah, it seems really cool. I think that this is the perfect start to get a ton of new people. There's the Demogorgon there. But get a ton of new people into Dungeons & Dragons or a new group that's never, ever played before that just happens to pick this up because they're a fan of the Stranger Things show. That's also very cool. Um, I think it's going to serve multiple purposes there. So the conclusion, I hurried and covered it up. I didn't want anyone to see kind of the conclusion of the adventure especially you know my players that may be running through this or whatever but at the end they encourage you to look forward and there's further adventures in Dungeons and Dragons so I guess this serves its purpose to get someone into the game and if they enjoy what they've done maybe move forward and buy the actual core rule books or some of the pre-made adventures or maybe even make their own but yeah here's the Dungeons and Dragons starter set uh Stranger Things like I said it wasn't supposed to come out till May was able to pick it up at GameStop, but then Amazon's shipping them early as well. So if you haven't pre-ordered, you should get it in your hand soon or probably start seeing it in stores. Uh, I think it's a good value for $25. I can't wait to run the adventure. I'm really excited. See you later.